Hi there, everybody. Thank you so much for being here this evening. Today we are talking about the Strength card in the Tarot. Now this is the Rider Waite version. Those of you who have been watching this series, you know that we're going to look at multiple versions of this card because each deck has its own personality, its own character. Sometimes each card has a little bit of a different meaning. Sometimes each card has a lot of a different meaning. And so we're just going to look at a nice sampling of cards. Now obviously there's a lot more cards out there available than what I have on my table. So, you know, you're going to get an idea about how to look at some of the different cards. And, and you know, you're going to get an idea about the kind of critical thinking that goes into evaluating a tarot card and finding out what it means. Not only based on its looks, but you also want to pay attention to the psychic um, impressions that you get whenever you're paying attention to a card. But we are going to go over just basic meanings as I've run across them through my practice and also things that I look at this card and I associate with the cards as we go through them. So obviously strength card, this is the traditional um, traditional deck, you know, the standard, industry standard, I guess you might say, the Rider weight deck. And so, you know, we have this woman who is really sort of in charge of this lion. In this picture, she's actually putting her hand very near his mouth. You know, that's a lot of trust. And it basically shows this idea of having strength that is not necessarily brute strength, that is a graceful strength, that is a strength because of compassion and because of respect. Um, so we have the strength. We have the infinity symbol above the lady, and this talks about you know, when we're strong, sometimes we're a lot stronger than we realize. We have strength beyond measure. And, you know, that is uh, talking about, you know, the strength to go through different things in life that come up, the strength to make the changes that we need to make as we go through life, just in general strength. Now, this card can also come up in a very mundane way. Um, I've seen this card come up at times when it talks about somebody going to the gym, um, and so, you know, this can also be very mundane. This can talk about a strong person, just very physically and tangibly as well. And for me, strength um, often really has to do with the idea of self-esteem. I really see a lot of self-esteem whenever I look at this card, even though I'm not sure that there's actually any symbols that would come up with that. But for me, I feel like when the strength card comes up, we have a good, healthy self-esteem. We have a good, healthy sense of who we are and self-worth. Um, and many times when I see this card, it talks about the idea of recovering our self-esteem or our self-worth after we've been through something that has sort of torn it down. Okay? So that's the strength card in a nutshell for me, just looking at the rider weight um, version of it. And so we're going to take a peek at some of the other decks that show, that depicts strength as well. We're going to start with the Druid Craft Tarot. And this is a very similar version of the strength card. If you notice, the sword is on the ground behind the woman and the wild boar. So obviously not brute force type strength, not threatening type strength, but the strength of a bond, the strength of unity, and an unlikely unity as well. Once again, this is something that I would put with self-esteem. And part of the reason that I think I have strength hooked up with self-esteem, besides that it came to me psychically, is that, you know, if we have low self-esteem, there's not much that we can be successful at. But if we have high self-esteem, then we can be, uh, you know, or at least healthy self-esteem and high self-confidence, then we can accomplish a whole, whole, whole lot, a lot more than what we thought otherwise. So for me, um, I think that this type of strength that basically tames a wild animal and makes it our friend, our buddy, our defender, um, is something that, you know, takes a lot of confidence and takes a lot of, of good self-esteem. So anyway, I think, I feel like I'm rambling and being repetitive. So this is my Medicine Woman Tarot Deck version of the Strength card. You can see that it calls uh, the number 8 card Healing. And so this is this is still depicting a, quite a bit of the same idea that the Rider Waite is with the animals behind the woman sort of 
she kind of comes across as the leader, like she's sort of led these animals to water. She seems to be kind of the leader. So this talks about the strength basically to be a leader. And water, in uh, some of the Native American lore that I've heard, talks about the idea of abundance. So this not only talks about um, the strength to be a leader, but the strength to be a leader that is that takes very good care of the people that she's leading, that leads them to abundance, that encourages them and uplifts them to abundance. So really, um, this to me implies the kind of strength that empowers and uplifts other people and makes them strong as well in a very gracious, um, gracious and magnanimous way. Now here we have strength in the Gilded Tarot. It's a lot more traditional, like the traditional with the lion and the woman. Um, I'm not even sure if she's riding on that lion or if she's standing next to the lion as I look close. I think she's riding on it and the mane is around her skirt. But, you know, this is talking about the idea of, you know, taming something. And the other thing that the Strength card can talk about, too, is taming our own wild desires, taming our primal urges, our primal instincts, taming those. So when we get really angry at somebody, not just lashing out and letting them have it, you know, or if we get, you know, really uh, any kind of primal desire, just sort of taming that and bringing that into um, our own self-discipline, our own self-will. And once again, it takes self-confidence to be able to do that, doesn't it? And self-esteem. Um, ba -da -da, da -da. Now this is the Chrysalis Tarot deck. And this is the strength card in that deck. They call it Papa Legba. And this person looks like a gypsy, like a gypsy shaman type of person to me. I think that this person has a lot of strength in the idea that um, they don't have anything really tying them down. They don't have anything keeping them from their own freedom. I don't picture this person as having a house. We don't see a house behind him. We see him as sort of a hobo with a drum. You know, he has the freedom to play his music. He's got some tools there for doing some type of magic. You know, so this is somebody who is uh, maybe more of a male gypsy. And there are uh, legends about Papa Legba. I don't remember what they were. I read the book. I don't remember. <laughs> If this is a deck you have, you may want to read the book. It is kind of interesting. I just don't remember it. And then if you notice the wall that he's sitting on, that is strength as well. You know, because it is strong. It's concrete. I think it's interesting, too, because the way that it's designed and decorated it, decorated almost looks like um, a depiction of the back of a book or a spine of a book. And a lot of times, a lot of our strength comes from the knowledge we have, the information that we have. So to me, this implies um, the idea of strength through information or strength through education as well. Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg strength card. Once again, we have a woman who has managed to tame the wild beast there. Um, you know, taming our primal desires. Also, going to the gym. <laughs> and she does have the windmill behind her, so this could have to do with some type of business thing. I could see this coming up in a reading where I might think that this is having to do with strengthening a business, not just a person. If my eye was drawn to that windmill as I was reading for a particular person. Next card that we have coming up is out of the Wildwood Tarot, and this is called the Stag, and this is the card that is in for strength, in the place of strength. And remember, this is the first deck. For some of you that have been watching me a while, you realize that this is this deck, not this deck itself, but the depictions in this deck are the ones that I learned the tarot on. This is my third deck like this. I've had to retire the other two from being overused. But this may be where some of my ideas about self-esteem come from, from strength, uh, from the meanings that are associated with this particular card. Um, and this card talks about a leader who has a lot of integrity, somebody that a lot of people would look up to because 
He respects each person for who they are. He doesn't respect people for what brand of shoes they wear. Excuse me. <coughs> Felt that coming on, sorry. So he doesn't respect people for what brand of shoes they wear or what side of town they live on. He respects people for people and he treats people with respect. Because he does that, people are happy to follow in his vision and happy to help to get him um, to his goals. They're happy to be a part of his team. Um, he does, in this deck, strength is depicted by the horns. And so we can see on the horns that, you know, this man has a lot of strength, this dear man. He's got the hatchet, which is, excuse me, strength to tear things down that need to be torn down, but also for uplifting. He's also very good at uplifting as well. Excuse me. Sorry about the interruption. I got a little something in my throat. But going back to our stag, as the strength card in his deck, we can see that he has uh, this shield that is fashioned out of a hide and probably some vines, I'm guessing, with the tree of life on it. And this really, I think that this depicts to me that a lot of times our strength comes from the universe. We tap into that energy of the universe to pull our strength. And I think if we go back to that infinity symbol on, um, on the Rider weight tarot above the woman's head, when you think about the idea of tapping into the strength of the universe, that tells you that our strength is actually completely unlimited. Okay. All right, so next what we have is the Golden Wheel Tarot, or Tarot of the Golden Wheel, I think it is officially. Strength card, once again. Woman taming the wild animal. If you notice, she has to kind of stand on a log, even to sit on top of this bear. And this bear is perfectly happy to have her there. They're friends, you know. Sometimes, sometimes our strength comes through the bonds that we have with the other people in our lives. Um, this card a lot of times makes me think of the idea of somebody who is uh, upright and upstanding, somebody who is sweet, who is patient, who is kind, who would never say a bad word about anybody, but has friends um, who are um, a little bit more rough around the edges, you know. Friends who maybe have had run-ins run with the law, and friends who have a temper, and friends who um, would take care of business if they need to take care of business in some way to make things right around any type of situation. And it's not hard to think of a person like this as having those kinds of friends, because remember, we've got in the stag, we have this idea of this person who respects people just because they're people, not for any other reason whatsoever. And so when you have somebody who respects everybody just for who they are, then everybody becomes their friend. And so there's this sense in this card to me of that protection that comes from having uh, friends from all different, all different walks of life that if somebody basically tries to mess with this girl, I feel like that bear, who might be somebody who's a little bit from the rougher side of town or maybe handles things, you know, maybe they don't go to go to church or maybe they don't consider themselves very spiritual, but if somebody starts messing with this girl who has this sweet, innocent look, then this bear or this person with rough around the edges is going to step in and take care of business and make sure that doesn't happen again. <laughs> and so sometimes our strength is in those people that we care about and that care about us. And that's something that comes up to me on this card with this particular deck. So strength again, this is on the good tarot. Once again, the woman with the lion. And you can see the lion is 
acting protective of her. He is letting somebody know, hey, uh, you don't need to be coming here. And you can see she's trying to soothe him. She's petting him. Looks like she's petting him in kind of a soothing way, just talking to him. Basically, she's getting that lion to back off of whoever it is that has him agitated. You know, and that is also another kind of strength where you can get somebody to to be in a calm space when they're not in a calm space to help them to get to that place of peacefulness. So different ideas around strength are depicted in each one of these decks. And I can't say that my ideas or my takes on what I see in these cards is necessarily the same as what the creator envisioned whenever they put this card together, each of these cards. Um, but like I, like I always say, it's important if you're reading professionally especially to have multiple decks because each person is going to need um, a reading that is a little bit of a different flavor. You want to find something that's appropriate for each person. So that's why it's important to have lots of decks to choose from. And those of you who have had readings with me, sometimes you'll hear me say before we even start reading, okay, which deck wants to talk to so-and-so today? And I'll let the deck call to me that wants to actually talk to that person. Now, if you're just reading for yourself, you know, then you can find a deck that really resonates with you, and that can be your only deck. Um, no big deal. But if you're reading for the public, I would always recommend having, having multiple decks to choose from. I'm not going to say a specific number, because I think we start out with multiple, and then as we go through the years, we just gradually accumulate more and more. <laughs> How can we not? Um, so next we're going to look at the strength card reversed. I want to start with the Rider weight again. So I have had this card come up uh, when somebody skipped going to the gym that day that I read for them. That shows up sometimes. Uh, this can show up if you're dealing with somebody who is um, physically weak, doesn't have a lot of muscles type of person. This can be dealing with somebody who is mentally not very strong. Somebody who takes the advice of others over their own better judgment. That type of thing. Easily manipulated and made into a puppet type of thing. Okay. Um, this can also be somebody who has low self-esteem. And generally, when the strength card comes up in reverse for me, if this is about low self-esteem, this is generally about somebody who has low self-esteem because... Someone else said something to them that they believed and bought into. And so now they're kind of beating up on themselves. They've sort of taken the baton from the original person. And now they're beating up on themselves and, and their self-esteem is falling down because their opinion of themselves is falling down. Not because the other person said it, but because they believed what the other person said about them that was negative. Okay? So, in reverse. In reverse, when I'm looking at this card, one of the things that I think of is uh, maybe somebody pissed off all their friends that would defend them. Maybe somebody's gotten on the wrong side of them. You know, maybe this person, uh, if, the, if I have this card show up, maybe this person doesn't have that strength of integrity. Maybe this person doesn't respect everybody just for being a person. And because they don't, then they don't have those kind of friends that will step in and stand up for them because they look down on those types of people. So they could be defenseless. If I see that, that strength card especially show up, I could feel like they're defenseless. Same thing with this one. Same thing with this one. Like when I look at this one upside down, I almost see the, the bear sort of bucking the woman off. Like, how dare you lean on me? How dare you lean on me? You, you didn't have anything to do with me two weeks ago. Now all of a sudden, because it's convenient, you want to run to my aid type of attitude. Okay. Also, could be didn't go to the gym doesn't have to be a deep meaning. Now the stag showing up in reverse. 
Wildwood Tarot once again. Remember, this is a little bit of a different meaning for strength. But the stag, when the stag shows up to me in reverse, this is somebody who, you know, they are a leader. They have some kind of influence over you, but they're corrupt. They don't um, accept people just the way they are. They always want people to be different. They're not very truthful or honest with them. They're not a strong leader. People don't appreciate their leadership. Uh, maybe they're not a strong leader because they don't respect everybody as a human. Maybe they're not a strong leader because they are not very good at sharing what their vision is or what their goal is, what their target is, and so people really don't know what it is they're trying to actually accomplish. Much less can they help them with that. But for the most part, I don't think they want to because I don't think this person, when they're in reverse, this is not somebody who respects all human beings. Okay. Now, moving on. Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg. This could be very easily, when I'm looking at a card like this, this could very easily show up to me as somebody who is not very strong. This could be an entrepreneur who is on the verge of losing their business or who has lost their business when it's in reverse. Because remember, we have the windmill in the back. If the windmill's catching my eye, when it's in reverse, this entrepreneur could have lost his business or, be on, like I said, be on the verge of it. Papa Legba, when he comes in and reverse out of the Chrysalis Tarot, it could be that this person is ignoramus. There's a lot that they don't know, and it's hurting them. The information that they don't know and that they don't care to find out is hurting them. Because when it's in reverse, what's at the top of the card? That concrete wall that looks like books. So these are books that are never opened. These are books that this person doesn't think are very important. And these are books that would probably have the solutions to his problem, but he hasn't read them. He's too good for that. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is somebody who doesn't have the information that they need to do whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish, and so they're not getting very far. Strength and reverse in the Guilds of Tarot. For me, this is this is straight up about not being able to to harness your primal urges. This is not being very good at over at uh, resisting temptation for addictions or overeating or whatever that might be that might draw your person in or might draw you in if you're reading for yourself. This is not being very strong against cravings or against urges, or if you have a temper, this is letting your temper get out of control or, um, you know, any kind of primal urge, letting that get out of control. Native American medicine woman card. It's labeled healing. I don't see it so much as healing as much as I see it as leadership when it's right side up. When it's upside down, what I think of it as is that there is this sense of leadership that is happening, but the leadership um, is not very good. The leadership may not be very skilled leadership, and they're actually leading their people into something that's toxic or corrupt, something that's going to hurt them, actually, something that's not good for them. A good example of how this card might come through is when the World Health Organization was um, not conveying accurate information about the coronavirus when it first came out. That would be somebody in a leadership position leading somebody into something toxic or something poisonous to them. Okay. So that's an example of it. And, last but not least, Dreadcraft Tarot. Let's look at it in reverse. Duh. Duh, Anissa. <laughs> We're doing reverse now. So strength in reverse. Now for this one, remember, there's a sword in the background on the ground. And that's more at the top of this card now. So for me, this talks about somebody trying to um, take power or take control using might. 
using strength, maybe using weapons, uh, possibly using their fists. But somebody not taking strength because they have good speaking skills or because they're able to calm or comfort or anything like that, but taking, taking power or at least trying to take power, expressing their strength in a very physical way and, a, and potentially a violent way, but definitely a very physical way. Um, and so this is, this is not saying that the person isn't good at expressing in a violent way. This is saying that they're expressing in a violent way instead of expressing their strength through communication, through negotiation, through graciousness. They're expressing their strength in a way that um, overcomes physically rather than getting somebody to agree with them or coming into negotiation with somebody or winning somebody over. They are just physically um, dominating the situation. Okay? So that's my take on strength. I would be interested to hear in the comments if you guys have any other takes on the strength card. That would be cool. And for right now, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you very much for um, subscribing if you haven't already and for sharing my videos with others who may find them helpful. If I don't see you here for a private reading or a private Reiki session between now and then, then I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.